Hey everybody, this is Duke and uh, we're going to be installing a hip rafter and six jack rafters. This isn't uh, a how-to, it's just how I do it. And uh, maybe it helps somebody along the way. We'll be working on this corner and uh, I'm hoping the rain holds off. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. This is my hip rafter, and I have the uh, crown on this side, and I want it up. I know this is 14 foot. I know that I need at least 14 foot to uh, make the end of the overhang, and I'm going to let it run long because I'll cut all the rafter tails off later once I establish where my tin's going to be. But for right now, i got to cut it for the, uh, for the corner. And then the bird mouth on top of my plate on the beam on the outside of the porch. Okay, first thing we're going to need is a fine sharpened pencil. And you're going to need a sharp blade because we're going to be cutting on 45s. And you don't want your uh, saw blade in a bind. But uh, my... Uh, pitch is two and a half so I'm going to set that right here at two and a half between two and three and this is the hip and valley and this is the common on a speed square and see it's marked common and hip and valley so we're at two and a half on the hip scale all right this is rough cut lumber, and it happens to be an inch and a half. So we go at three quarters. My hand probably in the way. Go three quarter, an inch and a half. All right. Same thing over here. And then I'll mark it again. This is going to give me my cut for the inside of the corner. It should be there. The two lines should be at two and a half. Just like that. All right. Now, when we cut, when we cut this outside, that's going to go back to here. It's going to form a triangle. I'll show you. And go about halfway right there. It's basic geometry. It marks it on these two. And that's what to cut. That's the angle of the cut. We'll get this cut. It'll fall all the way through on this outside. And then we'll come back and cut this down this side. Now I'm form our cut. Right now we'll do the other side. See how it worked out.
Alright, and there it is. Wanted to show you the fit when we're even at the top of both boards. A real nice fit. But you want it even at the top. And we'll go down here and look at the other end. Okay, now that I got it centered over, over the corner. I'm going to mark the outside edges of both pieces. This right here and this right here. And on that bottom mark I'm going to cut it as deep as my bird mouse is going to be. And I'll cut the corner off. I'll show you. I need to mark it on the other side too. Now I'll take the rafter down. place my board the same way on the saw horses when I laid it out so I don't get messed up. We're going to cut our bird mouth on the bottom on down on the other end and we'll go down there and look. Now I got a pattern and I'm going to line this outside edge up with the outside that was on the wall. I'm gonna have to turn it over here. We'll get another shot. That's all I had to do, cut that out. And we're ready to go up with it. All right, what I intended on doing was cutting this outside corner off so that it, uh, it would be flush across the bird mouth, but somehow or another it got a little bit long, but that's okay. And I'll mark it right here. And I'll cut that corner off, and I'll cut it, cut it as deep as what the bird mouth is. Now I've marked it, I'm gonna cut it with my chisel, and then we'll have this hip rafter install. I had the rafter slid over so I could do my knots. I'll cut it so we'll drop her in place. Get it centered. There we go. Alright, that's a good fit. I'm happy with it. And we'll just screw it in place. Alright, from the outside of my beam, I got 99 and a half to the, to the rafter. And I got 99 and almost three quarters down the other way. 
So I'm going to run with that. Remember on my last video, I think it was this rafter I was squaring up. It's good and square and straight, so I'm going to take off it. It's on two foot center, so I'm going to do my layout on the top. And then I'll do the same thing on the other uh, common rafter on this other side. I hate this tape. All right. Jack rafters. I know they have to be four, six, and eight. And you can see how bad these got a crown in them. So I'm going to make this one. This is the worst one. This is going to be my six footer, my four, and then I'm going to make an eight. And uh, all we got to do again is set it on two and a half where it says Hidden Valley. Just set it on two and a half right there and then mark it. And then I'll cut it off on a 45. That's three jack rafters to one side. That'd be the uh, left side of the hip. All right, what I'm going to do is, it's two foot square, it's two foot from one end to the other. I'm going to lay it at the bottom of this rafter and square it off. And then mark it on the side of my hip. So that square, I got my pencil mark right there, and then I'll... Uh, I already got my layout on my beam. Make sure I'm even at the top on my mark. Looks good. You can still see my mark. Good angle on there. There we go. 
Alright. I'm on my mark down here. I'll do the same thing on the next one. All your hips and your your common rafter on the end and all your hips and your uh, jacks need to be straight in order to be able to do it this way. Otherwise, it'll get off. I got all my jacks in place. Now I got to notch, uh, notch them for the bird's mouth. Down here, they're all on their, their marks. So, we're good to go. I'm going to mark the outside edge like I did before. And then take them down and cut all the birds' mouths out. Alright, they're all in place. I'm all screwed down tight. All the fits look good. Uh, we'll take a look uh, from the top. Alright, we got us another corner done. We got some real nice fits. Everything's on plane. I'm happy with it looks real good oh I got one more corner left to do and uh, that'll be all the framing for the roof I'm pretty happy the way it turned out all the uh, framing on this roof was from salvaged pine trees from a storm I hauled them to the sawmill, and I, I took videos of that too. All the beams, everything from the posts up. So, I saved a lot of money by doing that. And the trees weren't wasted. So, I'm about ready to get off here. Good Lord's held the rain off so I could get this done. All right, we got the three corners done out of four. Now I'm going to dog it off for right now and get the 
the uh, cabin ready on the inside for Christmas dinner. And uh, we like to celebrate the birth of a king around here, me and my family, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, if you celebrate it too, then I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, Lord willing, I'll see you later.